This is Charlie Parsons for the stomping ground powered by Wow Hydrate. I'm the delighted. stomping ground? That's what, yeah, that's what I've called it. Do we not like the name? Oh, no. It's all right, Charlie. It's a bit strong, isn't it? Stomping ground? Yeah, but... You, you sound like what? a football hooligan. Yeah, but, you know, there was that... You do wear Stone bit Island and all that, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. You've got a bit of form with that football hooligan sort of stuff. But you know what? People have their gym, their office as a stomping ground. I want mm. this to be their stomping ground. OK. We like it. Are we oh, getting there? Growing, man. Okay, growing okay, me, okay, it? okay, okay, that's fine. Okay. Um, Mr. Spencer Brown, yeah. we're here in Thailand. Thank you for having us today, first hand. What a gaff we're in. Yeah, it's unbelievable. It's owned by a, a gaff, uh, it's owned by a bloke called Mr. Wong. If you look in there, he overlooks 20 rings. He's got the best fighters in the world. He also owns Fairtex, who are one of the biggest brands, especially in this part of the world. Well, it probably is the biggest combat sport brand there is. Uh, Mr. Wong's, um, he's an 80 year old man who he just sits there and overlooks everything. He's had, he's had every champion, Bull Cow, all of them. He's had every champion. It's, and if you look outside, there's tigers and all sorts. Have you seen it? Yeah, you've seen all that. I haven't. That. Well, if you go outside, there's, a, there's, a, there's like a little zoo. He keeps all his, all his animals there. It's crazy. I think there's a couple of crocodiles out there and all sorts. So I got the call on Thursday yeah. and I landed last night. I was having a stroll while on the phone with my mum. It's different. It is. I mean, there's culture shocks and then there's this. This is a real culture yeah, shock. Yeah, I mean, I mean, look, we, we, we've come out here to do um, three jobs. We've been out here. This is the second time we've been out here now doing work. And uh, we get open, you know, you know, open arms everywhere. The good thing is, is it's it, at the moment, it's all South Koreans and... Um, Sort of, there's a bit of bit of Eastern European people out there and a Japanese. So Tyson doesn't get doesn't get too much attention. It's, I mean, we're in the hotel and you know I think he's been asked for two pictures. Oh wow! Which is so you can have that detail. Yeah, there's no there's not a lot of English people. Bit, I think yeah. uh, we haven't met an English person yet. It's a wonderful place. We relax there. You know, we got on a boat and we done a job out on a boat yesterday. Just wow. you know, just and and fair text. Fairtex have just done a job for him, they're, they're looking to, to get him in, so it's all good, it's all good. And then you said you'd do a job for us here, so it made all made sense. Happy days, yeah, not a bad way to, to start Riyadh a new gig, is well. it? I know, yeah, we go straight to Riyadh after. Um, go on. <laughs> and, and, and we'll, you know, it's nice for him to get a break as well. Yes. He's healing still, so he yes. can't do a lot. Um, but he's, I mean, he's, you've seen the nick he's Well, in. that's what I was going to say. He's I'll been pick running up on every that. day. He's in been fantastic shape. every day. The, the, he, you know, he's he's a he's at a great weight. Maybe needs to little put a, put a bit on more than lose anymore. Um, but yeah, he's, he's been great for us. Well, let's go straight into that then. Um, I suppose firstly, on your hand, we know we've seen you did a bit of the infamous press conference, which was absolutely outstanding. But first hand, um, what a stressful situation it must have been for you. The cut happened. How did that 24 hours play out? Well. <laughs> Well, it, it was very strange because we decided that we decided that well, amongst us all, not mainly me, but the trainers, and everything. Let's try let's try um, sparring in the morning because at night it was it was sort of it was cold and it was the the, the gym was very hot. But we we just decided that he wasn't getting the sleep pattern that we needed to get. So let's let's try it in the morning. First time we've got in there. First spa, no problem, had a good spa. We had the Croatian kid up next, who um, is notoriously tough. He's a real tough guy, you know. Six foot six, he's a bit of a rough house. And Tyson went, Tyson done the first bit, he gets in. And I just heard Shane scream, cut. And I thought, oh, please don't let it be Tyson. And, uh, and there it was. That's where the cut happened, and it was it was bad, and straight away everybody, you know, wasn't even a nick. It was a proper split job. So things moved very quickly. Very quickly. Talk Panic set that. in. Yeah. How how does um, dealing with that firsthand? How, how, what what do you do? So for, first of all, it's everybody um, everybody's concerned about Tyson getting him to hospital, getting it sorted, seeing how bad it is. Um, that was the first concern, and then everything else starts. Then, you know, the promotion. People flying over, the tickets, how much you know, how much um, work that Saudi Arabia, uh, Turkey, I Sheikh, Doctor Khan all put in for this. All their team have put in months of hard work. They're, so like you, you panic, don't you? You panic. 
and, there was, and then all these rumours started that he split his own eye and all this rubbish and, and, and it was very unnerving. Were you, as a team, mm -hmm. and we know what public perception can be like, because yeah. we've seen Yeah, but with, was, with... this was pro professional, this was professional people coming out of that garbage. What did you make of it? I, was, <laughs> I mean, there's one individual, I, I couldn't believe it, I, I don't want to talk about him too much, but uh, I mean, he, he was a professional, top-ranked professional boxer, a world champion, saying that he split his own eye open. Uh, just, just beggar's belief, just beggar's belief. And and uh, we were a bit shocked with that. We knew we'd get a bit of flack for it, but... Were you disrespected as a team? Tyson put a video out about people talking about retirement. I mean... Ah, just m more rubbish. Look, he's not getting any younger. He's in the twilight of his boxing career. But, let's have it right. Who's 637? Um, Anthony Joshua's 35. You know, th th these heavyweights, are, you know, they're... they're they're, they're like a 35 year old men and you know Zilly Zhang fighting this week 40 years of age you know Joe Parker's young at 31 isn't he really so oh yeah I mean they go on longer yeah they go on longer and you mature you know they mature as a fighter um, I think Usyk and Tyson you know they've done so much they've been professionals for a very long time I mean obviously Usyk had a ma massive um, amateur career yeah. so he's got plenty of miles on the clock as well same as Tyson they've both got plenty of miles on the clock but they're both the best at their game we so, mentioned the shape he's in now yeah. going into training camp for May 18 and something that we discussed a little bit off camera uh, adequate enough time for sparring with the cut healing like you said it's, it's not quite on the eye as such it's, it's yeah I mean if you look at his eye now it's still a little bit red and a bit raw but um, the doctors did say to us that you know as much as much um, we don't want the cold on it, you know, England weren't great because we all know that cold doesn't heal very well, mm -hmm. you know, it, more in the heat it, it heals a lot a lot better and, and since he's been out here we've noticed a, a, a difference in it, you know, it's been, um, it's been good for him, swimming every day, out in the sun, relaxing, running, he's running six to eight miles every day. Uh, obviously can't run too much because it will lose too much weight. Is you, you're in it. What is it now? 35 degrees. I've never seen. Uh, yeah, it's not no good fat man like this me. Is... You know, I'm like butter. I'm, I'm, I'm all over the gap, melted everywhere. Um, but yeah, it's. We think we'll have adequate time. And listen, if it if something does happen in the fight, it opens up again. We've got people there to deal with it. We know what we're dealing with. First hand, um, May the 18th now. All systems are go, everything good. Everything's good, everything's great. You know, we, we, we believe Tyson's going to win the fight and we believe he's going to win it quite convincingly. Of course, there's a rematch after that. Um, you know, we're so, we should be so happy we've got the Saudis involved and, 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 and what they're bringing to the table. I mean, it just doesn't seem to get any better, does it? Just as you think it's getting better, something else happens. I mean, I've just watched the Anthony Joshua video. The promo? Unbelievable. Isn't it? It's just incredible. Can I ask you a little bit about that then? So being... This is quite... I'm quite enjoying this. So being as part of the process, hmm. these Hollywood-style promos are now coming out, and the Fury Usyk one, whether they do a new one for the fight or whatever, but that was just incredible. We now see the one for Knockout Chaos this week with AJ and Nganu. Who come up with all of this? Right, so there's a little team. It's, it's, it's look, Turkey Al Sheikh's got a great mind and he's very, um, I don't know what the word would be, he's very inventive with these videos, isn't he? And he comes up with all the names. Nobody, we don't say we want this, we want that. We are, he comes up with all the names, all the ideas. You've got a team who sits there 24 hours a day. They don't sleep this lot. And um, he's got a, a guy who works for him who's the, like, his main man uh, called Smiley. I, well, I call him Smiley Culture. And he's, um, he's just incredible at these like videos. Hollywood level production. Yeah, it is. He doesn't hold nothing back. Um, but like with Saudis, they don't mess about. You know, if they're going to do something, they do it properly and well. Well, on that topic, this weekend, or Friday, yeah. we have Knockout Chaos, Anthony yeah. Joshua versus Francis Ngannou. 
quite funny how boxing works because a couple of months ago when your man Tyson fought and gone, it was a gimmick. And yeah, now this is a very, thought, very serious you know, fight. I'm guilty of that. I'll hold my hands up. Thought he didn't have a chance. But just goes to show you what do we know sometimes. What do you think going into Friday night? Honestly, mm. I think Anthony Joshua walk, walk through and Garno. Okay. I think that, um, as I've seen recently, his boxing skills... I mean, I think he's already had the boxing skills, but um, I think that he's got better as he's got a bit older. I think um, he, he seems to be a lot more confident. He seems to be a great match with him and the new trainer. You think Ben Davison's a, ben a Davison's good addition? Not, you listen, Tyson will tell you, Ben Davison, he, he thought it was a great match. He said the pair of them, they'll get on well. Ben Davison, um, you know, he's a, he's a nice man to have around. And sometimes it's, you know, being on a level with somebody that you can talk to, him, it's, it's a big help, isn't it? You know, it's all right having a trainer who's a Mexican, but if you can't talk English, what are you going to do? Yeah. You need to have that bond. You need to have a bit of a bond. I think they're working very well together. I think, I think he beats Ingana on points uh, quite convincingly. That's, I think they've seen what's happened with Tyson. We know we, we can gauge him now. We know what he's like. But I'll tell you what he is. He's a monster. Just lastly on, on this card, I mean, some of the cards we're seeing are incredible. Day of Reckoning yeah. to this day was... It was so fun because it was so manic and everyone well, was, had to was, fly back a, for Christmas Eve. It was a, but the it card was, was stacked from... Me and, me and George done that card. It was a privilege to do the card. And we had a and it come about on six... Well, the fight was... It was announced with six weeks, right? But it, the fight yeah. came together in a matter of days. Think, Contracts I, were I flying think, in. Um, I think um, Turkey Al Sheikh called me and George in. He said, Get us a, I want a fantastic card here. I want the best you can get. And we went for, went for a lot of fighters and a lot of things. It took us two or three weeks to do. And obviously, Eddie, uh, we got Eddie in with, with uh, Anthony Joshua. Uh, they started a relationship with Turkey Al Sheikh. And um, now it looks like him, Frank, George is all blossoming. First hand, it's so refreshing for us as boxing fans to see. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? What do you, we now see the 5v5, which is yeah, uh, two interesting, isn't weight it? classes from Eddie and Matchroom, two from Frank Warren and Queensbury, and one from Turkey Al Sheikh. Yeah, this is like the stuff that we as boxing fans dreamed of, no? Yeah, I mean, there's plenty more to come after that. That's just a little taste. I mean, we've got some real, we've got something that could change boxing. I believe it will change boxing after seeing it. I mean, we've sat down, formulated this thing. Any clues? Could be. Probably be the biggest competition you've ever seen in your life. Okay. I'm just hoping Turkey, Turkey loves it, and um, I think Dr. Rakan loves it. I think the whole team love it. I think it's whether we can. I mean, it'd be a big one if we can get this. If we can get this on the whole world. We're watching this, but they already are. Yeah, but but I think this could be big. Um, Turkey O'Shake calls it the idea. That's what it's called, the idea. And it is an idea, and it's a big idea. But if he, if he and Saudi Arabia and MBS and everybody get behind it, it'll be massive. Finally from me then, you talk about Saudi Arabia, MBS, Vision 2030. This is all obviously very much paramount and part of that. Um, can you talk a little bit as to how it all came around for you? Because I think a lot of people are quite fascinated. We saw this uh, Fury and Garnu fight. And then we basically saw Riyadh season just take over the, the boxing world. Yeah, it was um, it was quite surreal, surreal really. It, must have been. <laughs> it was uh, me, and, me and Tyson met some some representatives of um, of Saudi Arabia and um, Turkey Al Sheikh and the General Entertainment Authority come down to see us, and they talked about a few things with us. And but, you know, we didn't we didn't dismiss it. But we'd had disappointments before with, uh, with some in the Middle East with other boxing associations and, and um, promoters out there. So we were very, um, we were very taken back when this, they came to us. So we left it. Tyson said, look, I'll give you two weeks. Get back to me. We never heard anything for six months. So we obviously thought, here we go again. Then... Then two guys turned up at the, my house and said, uh, we represent uh, Saudi Arabia, Turkey Al Sheikh, the GEA and Seller. Uh, 
we want to chat with you about bringing Tyson to box. And I just laughed. I said, oh, well, not again. And have a lot. And, and I invited him in for a cup of tea. And uh, they ended up staying at my house for four days. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, and Tyson... Uh, Was Tyson. that not a bit like, pinch yourself? Well, I think so. I just they said we're going to get a hotel because we can't leave until we've done this deal. So I started well, laughing. So it was happening. It was done. They that, 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 they were the going away. Need. Fine. So I so I just said okay. I rung George and Frank, and they just said we'll crack on with it. They gave me their full support and said just crack on with it. But we they were actually we were actually looking at um, Wembley. So Frank and George were doing Wembley. I was doing this project and whatever came if whatever came to fruition we were going to do because we couldn't wait any longer and uh, I got asked to fly out to New York for a meeting we had the meeting within I think it was four or five hours we'd done the deal wow it was incredible Robert Davis so Tyson solicitor had a lot to do with it. It was me and Robert Davis, really, and Frank and George on the other end of the phone. Do we do Wembley or don't we do Wembley? So they just, obviously, they backed it fully. Then George flew over. We had a big meeting. Um, well, I think everybody was there, top rank. Uh, everybody, anybody that, and everybody who needed to be involved was there. And we, we took it from there, formed a relationship with Turkey Our Shake. And uh, we're, we're good friends now. And... Um, he, um, we have a good laugh together, you know. Finally from me, you talk a little bit about Wembley. Now, we know a lot of this is Vision 2030 and boosting everything with Saudi, but as boxing fans, it feels like... We all want to see a big one, don't we? Yes. So there's two I'm going to come at you with here. Go on. Do you think, if there was ever a time it feels like it's now for Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua, <laughs> and we saw in Tyson's video he put out he'd like to do the two fights... Is there any chance of one of them coming to Wembley? We've talked about this. Actually, we've had a, we've talked about this, and it really, um, obviously, it's all down to money, isn't it? It's the biggest fight. Apart from Usyk, I think it's it's got to be. The, do you agree with me, Charlie? It's the biggest fight in the world. I think. Yeah, I, I do. I mean, it's I can't. Is it the uh, is it the one we all want to see? Yeah, because I want to see it. But I would go past. Right now, I'm young, so I don't know, but I can't think of many bigger fights. And it's the fact that it's been spoken about. I think about it'd sell Wembley out two or three times, wouldn't it? Yeah. So, look, the trouble is, you can only get so much money in England. There's only so much money on the. Anybody will tell you, Frank will tell you, Eddie will tell you, you know, there's only so much money to get. Whether, whether um, it'd be a massive statement from the Saudi Arabians to put on a show in England, wouldn't it? It'd be huge, it'd be a huge statement. And you'd still be able to get the, the, I suppose, advertisement across, right? Yeah, I think, I, think, I think they'd be willing to enter into something like that. We have talked about it. There's been talks and, you know, but sort of they're at the moment concentrating on what they've got. They've got a lot of fights in hand. You know, you've still got the likes of, you know, we're, we're, we've, got, we've got a three-fight deal with Hergovic. We have a two-fight deal with um, Tyson and Usyk. Anthony Joshua's got a two, three fight deal. Joe Pattaya on the card? Jo Joe Pattaya's got a, he's got a two fight deal or three fight deal with us as well. Um, we've got, I mean, we've, we've got many others as well who've got, you know, you're talking about Better BF as well against Bivol. I mean, whoa, huge. Huge, but it doesn't sell, does it? For purists. For purists it sells, but does it sell? No, no, but, but it's but different is it to a me. fight we all want to see? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. We all want to see it. We it's will view that differently as boxing fans to the correct. viewer that we watch. But, I mean, that's exciting, isn't it? It's unbelievable. And there's some other big stuff that's all in the pipe at the moment. I think you'll, when you've got a Riyadh this week, you'll see some faces that might be okay. looking at fighting very shortly. Okay. There, there's people, there's some clues there. There's a lot of clues in Riyadh this week. Okay, we look forward to it. <laughs> Mr. Spencer Brown, thank you ever so much. Thank you very much. I'm going to be a bit cheeky and Come say on. first of many. I hope. I hope so, yeah. Thank you. I might be dead next week, so you know, I, if I'm I putting you more weight on. I'll bloody hope. <laughs> well, I'll catch you in Riyadh again then. Mr. Spencer Brown, thank you ever so much. Thank you for your very time. much. Top Cheers, man, mate. thank Bye you. Mate.